Here she comes. Here she comes. Here she comes. It's Miss Sasha Colby, girl. <laughs> Hello, loves. Hi. I'm living my Bella Pock fantasy now. Girl, this fantasy is giving us our fantasy. I mean, you are our fantasy, girl. Oh, come on. Give it to us, Sasha. Yes. Yes, mother. Come on. I mean, every single time we see you, girl, it is drag excellence every time we see you. Thank you so much. I mean, I love doing it. And if I'm not loving it, can't sell it, right? You gotta love it. You know, girl, I'm Ricky with Out Magazine. You are in our latest edition of Out Magazine. We have this beautiful spread of Sasha. You guys have to go check it out. Knowing that you're part of this moment in history right now, you are shaping such a crazy time for us in our community. But here you are, we're turning to you. What does this moment mean to you in your personal life and just being part of our community right now? Well, you know, I, I've had a lot of uh, where people were asking, like, why didn't I do it sooner? Why did I? Why was this only the first time I auditioned? Well, it's because of this. I, I know now that this is this is the season I'm supposed to be in because it's so politically charged. My mere existence right now is just making so many conservatives scared. I feel particularly zoned in on as a trans drag performer. And it's as a Leo maybe, I'm just kinda like, bring it. Come on, girl. I mean, honey. I'm 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 nothing for your self esteem if you can't if you if you can't handle honey. Only only the divas can see other divas, baby. <laughs> Look at the material. You know, people on the other side of the fence, they don't see what we're trying to do. They don't see all this beauty. What would you want to say? They do see it. They want it. They don't know how to talk about it. They want to keep us away. You usually, what is that thing when you're like a little kid, like you bully the one you like? Girl, stop pushing me over in the, in the, in the sandbox. sandbox. Girl, I'll give you my cookie, Senator. <laughs> You know what's funny? There's people on the other side that like you and they're intimidated, but us in the community, we like you and we are rooting for yes. you. We are loving every bar I go to when there's a watch party. Every time you pop up on the screen, we're screaming, we're yelling. We're just so happy that you're representing us so well. What has this experience been like for you to be introduced to a whole other level of fans who have just come to root for you? you I mean, it's been surreal. It's genuinely been really wild to get the, the support and the, the overflowing uh, I, I just don't even know how to explain it. Like the, the energy that comes when I'm at a live, like a live show. Every booking I've ever gone on lately has just been completely sold out. Like the love. Uh, I, I, it's, I'm already a winner. Yes, that's a perfect transition. <laughs> Sasha, what would it mean to you if you win that crown tonight? Oh my gosh, it would mean, internally to myself, it would mean uh, just the culmination of 20 years of love for this art. Um, what it would mean for trans people in general would um, just give everyone so much power to be them their, themselves. Oh. Oh, I love this. Yeah. This is why we love you, Sasha. Well, listen, thank you for giving so I'm many- You're crying, baby, on the show and in real life. <laughs> <laughs> so are we. You make us so emotional. I think that's the reason why we love you so much, because we're all right there with you. We are supporting you every step of the way. And listen, I'm about to get a ticket to go to Australia to see you and Anitra, okay? That's, that's the tour to watch. That's what I'm saying. Sanitra? Sanitra! <laughs> I love it. Or two stone queens. <laughs> we, lo we listen. We will not be doing our routine. Don't worry. No more comedy for Sasha and Anitra. We might. We might. We'll get the whole audience stoned. I'm sorry, Australia. Never mind. <laughs> I love it.